Hey, welcome back, everyone. The last 20 hours have been, well, one <laughs> roller coaster, that's for sure. Take a look at this. We got up to 84 degrees even at 9 p.m. last night. Yeah, that's pretty toasty. We didn't actually cool down until about 3 a.m. when this weak cold front actually pushed its way through. And when that happened, okay, we dropped down into the 50s, and then we warmed back up. Here we are at about 86 right now for this evening. So taking a look at Big Spring, yeah, we're at 86 degrees right now. Hey, check out these clouds. We got very upper level clouds, most still mostly sunny skies for the most part. Very, very dry though. Look at that dew point at 10 degrees, humidity at 6%. Ooh, that's not good for any kind of fire danger that's going to be on the elevated side. Now, I don't have red flag warnings or anything like that. In effect, it's because it's just not too terribly windy. So if anything does catch on fire, it's not going to spread as fast as it would we had those winds from well yesterday. All right, take a look at this 20 25 mile per hour wind gusts, mostly just in our northern counties. 24 in Odessa, 24 in Midland, about 17 out of Big Spring. Radar, it's pretty empty. There's not a whole lot going on. So no significant rainfall chances, at least for the next few days to give us some somewhat of relief from this heat. Unfortunately, that doesn't look to be the case right now. But what about tonight, though? Well, tonight's going to be on the warmer end as well. That's pretty typical. When you're warm during the day, we're going to stay decently warm during the night. Big reason for tonight being very warm is the increase in our cloud cover. I'm looking at a whole lot of clouds kind of hanging around the region. So what about your morning commute for your Wednesday? Pretty nice morning. I got partly cloudy skies, nothing too out of the ordinary. But by the afternoon, hot and dry. Now, that shouldn't affect your actual commute, traffic, or anything like that. But if you haven't gotten your sunshade out of your trunk just yet, it's that time of year I suggest doing so because it is going to be like a toaster oven in those cars. 90 degrees for tomorrow despite that cloud cover. Record high is 97, so we're keeping that into account. Not going to likely break any records, but getting a little close for comfort. That's the word I'll use. What about your future track? Well, it's a lot of this cloud cover beginning to build during the early part of the morning and kind of lasting into the afternoon. Rain chances outside of our area, San Angelo del Rio might certainly see a pop up shower thunderstorm, but we're going to stay clear of rain chances until our next cold front. So of course we're going to be keeping our eye on that. And again, next couple days, not really a whole lot other than some very warm temperatures. Hot is what the word I use for it. 90 and 93 until the cold front comes through. Now, newest model data is showing the cold front itself getting very strong. Temperatures dropping about 30 degrees and rain chances Friday night, Saturday and into Sunday morning. We start to warm back up with more of those 80s making a comeback.